The rape of four Ottawa High School freshmen shows a failure to respond quickly, failure to tell the parents, and a failure to assure the public the problems would not happen again. Josh Rowe joins us now with what else the Hamilton County District Attorney is now reporting. Josh. Kim Calvin, just two hours ago, we received this report from the Hamilton County District Attorney's Office. The report details the findings from the DA's investigation over the last nine months into what happened with players on the Ottawa basketball team in a cabin in Gatlinburg in December. Last month, three players were found guilty of aggravated assault in this case. The judge also found the main offender guilty of aggravated rape. According to the report, DA Neil Pinkston says former basketball coach Andre Montgomery and his wife tried to cover up the crime back in December. The report says Montgomery's wife tossed out the injured freshman's clothes and cleaned up where the attack took place. The students interviewed for the report said the coach told the kids to keep quiet and to not even tell their parents what happened. Montgomery currently facing four charges of failure to report child abuse. Report goes on to say former superintendent Rick Smith failed to quote take his duty to manage the crisis seriously and that quote neither Udawa High School or central office administrators acknowledge the seriousness of the attacks. According to the DA's report, parents notified Udawa High School administration in October of 2015 about hazing on the basketball team and that dates back even further. The report states there's a history of hazing and assaults on the OHS basketball team. The DA interviewed a former athlete who said there was abusive behavior dating back all the way to 2009. Report also says athletes at Udawa continue to show bullying and threatening behavior despite what's happened over the past 10 months. Uh, Brittany Martin talked to Neil Pinkston moments after the report was released. She joins us now live with what he had to say about this report. Brittany. General Pinkston says he's never investigated something like this in his career. He told me it was difficult to learn some of the things he details in the report. He also says the report indicates the problem is not just at Udawa High, but is a system-wide problem. It seems to indicate there's a uh, it's not isolated incidences, unfortunately. Something, something else was at work. Pinkston says from what he understands, the school system is working to implement policies he claims weren't followed in his report. He says he believes that's the first step in making change. Reporting live downtown, Brittany Martin, News Channel 9. Brittany, thank you. And we talked to interim superintendent Kirk Kelly just about 30 minutes ago. Here's what he had to say. Uh, we'll have to look into that. We'll have to know specifically what the incidents are. Um, we're working with the administration at Udawa and we'll, in, we'll investigate every incident that occurs. Former Udawa assistant principal Jesse Nadley has since resigned from the Hamilton County School System and former Udawa principal is on extended leave of absence. The report also talks about incidents happening at other schools. Back in January, an Orchard Knob Middle School teacher says his students drugged him. The report says the kids put pills in his water bottle when he was not looking. At Hickson Middle School, a student broke a teacher's jaw, and according to the report, some students at Signal Mountain Middle High School wear global positioning ankle monitors. It also reports that there's a bullying problem at Udawa Middle School. To read the entire 26-page report from the district attorney, we have it posted at newschannel9.com.